Now let's say you've got a problem with your Synology and it's not booting up. You want to console it to find out what's going on. Now if you're like me, you might not know where the console port was. So what you need to do, carefully turn it onto its side. You'll see in there, there's JP2. And you want to console those three pins. Three pins closer to the board. Now what you need is one of these. It's a UART cable, not expensive. You can get one eBay. What I've done is I've taped the green, the white and the black together to make it easy to put in. So See, they go closest to the board with the green closest to the power. And just slide it in. So the red cable's not used, the green, the white, and the black. So now you're ready to power it on. What I'll do, flick over to the PC and find out what settings you need there. Like I said, I was gonna do a video on how to connect the console for Linux using a Raspberry Pi. So this is similar to the Windows method, but I've connected the USB end to the Raspberry Pi. Now this assumes you've got a Raspberry Pi set up with networking, because I'm connecting in through Windows. I've just used PuTTY to SSH to it and logged in. Now, what you're going to need to do first, similar to the Windows method, is find out what COM port, basically, the USB port that it's come up as. So the way that I do that is do a cat var log messages grep tty usb. Now tty in lowercase, usb in capitals, and it will show you the bottom tty usb zero. So you're going to need to install Minicom. So that's sudo apt install Minicom. And put the minus Y on the end to say yes. And it's going to say that I've already got it installed. It's already the newest version for me. So once you've done that, then you can connect to Minicom. So the command to connect to Minicom, sudo Minicom, board rate 115200, device slash tty USB zero. Don't forget the dev. Now, like I said in the other video, I've already got the putty log going from putty to the desktop, so it's recording the same. And so now you've got Minicom loaded with TTY USB zero and you're ready to power on the Synology. So there we go. See all the boot commands. And if you have a problem loading the image like I did, then this can be used to fix it. Thanks for watching.